Hello TVS community. As you are well aware, we are experiencing an unprecedented spike in the Delta variant of COVID-19. This school year, we have had seven confirmed positive cases, which are more than half the number from the entire 2020-21 school year. We have quarantined nearly 100 students just one full week into the school year. Due to these factors, we must take action to mitigate the risk and stop the spread of this virus. After discussing this topic with the medical advisory team, our board of trustees, and our senior leadership team, we have made the difficult decision to require face coverings for all students, faculty, and staff, and visitors on campus, effective Monday, August 23rd through September 10th, when at that time we will reevaluate based on positive cases at TVS. However, in keeping with the parents' Bill of Rights, we will allow parents or qualified guardians to opt their child out of wearing a face covering or mask by filling out a form which is in my letter. We must work together once again to keep our campus vibrant and safe. Here's what you can do to help us. Even if you choose to opt out, we are highly encouraging your students to wear a mask when in the hallways or crowded locations. We are highly encouraging vaccinations for those ages 12 and up. Our faculty are modeling mask wearing for our students when social distancing is not possible. Please do not send your child to school, even if they have mild symptoms, including a runny or stuffy nose. If you are feeling uneasy about having your children in school, we have provided the distance learning option to keep everyone safe and healthy. We are opening this up further to anyone that is not comfortable with this temporary policy. The local prediction is for the Delta variant to slow down in the next three to four weeks. So please help us keep everyone safe by abiding by these strong recommendations so we can keep the school open. Of note, the CDC just announced that if you are wearing a face covering and come into close contact with a positive case, you will not be required to quarantine. This recommendation will help us keep more of our students on campus and learning in person. I fully understand and appreciate that some of you will not agree with this decision. I know it is not perfect, and the research on masks as a tool of mitigation for stopping the spread is mixed, but we feel it is a step to help us slow the spread of the virus. I also know that both sides of this contentious issue will want to send me medical advice to support their argument. Please know that I have read and researched both sides of this issue. My goal is to keep your children safe and our campus open. I'm asking you to please show empathy and kindness towards those that do not agree with you. We are all trying to manage a very difficult situation in the best manner possible. So please treat everyone in our community with respect. As you know, one of my mantras is assume positive intent. We are never trying to put anyone in harm's way. My two children also attend this school. Please help us keep everyone safe by doing your part until the cases go down, even if you may not agree with it. In conclusion, we must come to grips with the fact that we will have more positive cases on campus. It is the reality of the situation we are in. There is not a magic wand we can wave to prevent it, short of placing everyone in a bubble. All of these strategies are simply an attempt to mitigate risk and keep our doors open. We have a lot to be thankful for at the Village School. I encourage you to focus on these things while we make our way through this challenging time together. Thank you. Nights for Life.